Hey guys, we are in 1 Samuel chapter 20 and 21. And in 1 Samuel chapter 20, we see the story of Jonathan and David. They are BFFs. They are our truly best friends. People, let me tell you about my best friend. Hey, we all have different levels of friends. You know, I think friend is the greatest title of all. I think it needs to be the greatest goal of all. We want to be everybody's friend, but we want to be a true friend, but, and, and we want to be known as a true friend, and that's a cool thing. But I think we, we've got different levels, and we've kind of cheapened the word friend. We use it a lot. We, we Okay, this so-and-so is my Facebook friend. So-and-so is my friend. This is my friend over here, even though we never talk. This is a friend who stabs me in the back and betrays me. That's not a real friend. And we've got fair-weather friends. We've got true friends. We've got all kinds of different friends, all kinds of levels of friendship. Well, Jonathan is a great example of real friendship, of what a true friend looks like. He's not selfish. He, he, he is willing to put David ahead of himself. He lays down his future plans for David, and, and he's completely loyal. Loyal people go the extra mile for friendship. They don't just say, I'm your friend, but they really prove it. They back it up with their actions. They really act like they're your friend. Okay, and, and I think loyalty is a really underrated trait, but I think it's one of the main ingredients of, of real friendship. If we're going to be loyal to people, if we're going to stick up for them, if we're going to make sure we've got their back and we're protecting them at all times, that's what a true friend looks like. And that's what Jonathan looked like. He looked out for David. There's a verse that says, greater love has no man than he lays down his life for a friend. And that's what you see happening with Jonathan and David. It's a really cool thing. Then we ease on into chapter 21, and it's kind of a crazy chapter. Maybe I'm crazy. It's David is doing some crazy stuff. First thing he does, he's a man on the run. So he's running from King Saul, who's trying to kill him. And so he's not really thinking clearly. And, and so he does some crazy stuff. And he does something that, that is real crazy right off the bat. He has this momentary moment of stupidity where he fails to completely trust in God. And, and he fails to trust in God to protect him. And he ends up lying, and he lies to a priest. And, and up until now, David's not perfect, but he's been pretty unflawed. He's, he's lived a life kind of devoted to the Lord and trusting in God for a lot of really big things. And then, now he's running for his life, and he comes to this priest, and he lies to this priest. And as a result of his stupid lie, 85 priests die. Because lying is, is always brings consequences. Lying's always wrong. And in this case, it was right. It was crazy. I don't know what he was thinking. But then later in the chapter, not only did he do something crazy, he, he acts crazy. In order to protect himself, he acts crazy because he feels threatened by this king. So he thinks, if, if I just act crazy, the king will leave me alone. So he... he claws on things and he drools all over himself. The Bible said he drools in his beard and he acts crazy and the king's like, what? Why did you bring him to me? Don't I have enough crazy people in my life? It really says that. And, and sometimes we all feel like that, I'm sure. But it, it, David is learning. Okay, we all make mistakes. We all blow it. And those those mistakes have consequences. And David is learning that the hard way. So friendship and craziness, it's an amazing thing. God bless you guys. Giddy up. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.